Welcome viewers to another episode of Brave Namibia where we celebrate both ordinary and extraordinary Namibians. In our first clip today we head to Volfus Bay where Sheldon Johannes caught up with Namibian kickboxer Kevi Mohipa who is Desert Storm Junior Champion. Okay, um, my name is Kevi, I'm here Kevi Mohipa. I am a Namibian kick, kickboxer, a, a, a martial art fighter from like Vavis Bay. This is, and this is where I, I train, so yeah. Um, I was born and raised in Vinduk. That's where I was born and raised, but like um, we moved to, to like Vavis. And this is where I stayed for a while. Um, but then I'm from Okakarara. I, I'm a place called Amokonjatu. Yeah, yeah, that's like where I'm from. That's like my home, my place. That's that's where I go to. So um, I came to Valves around like uh, when I was, I believe, I was 10 years old. That's when we moved to Valves, and that's when I started my school journey um, at at Naval Primary, and then went ahead to go finish my school, my school journey at the then uh, uh, secondary school. So yeah, that's where like that's that was my school journey. So my, my kickboxing journey like, like started about like in 2014, I believe, in 2014. I was, with, I, I was first at a dojo called um, Sensei Dorothy's Dojo. That's where I was for about a month. And, and I just didn't like it there. So um, eventually I, I found a coach called Sensei Leslie. He was here, but now he's not anymore here. So like I then I, I joined him here. That's when he trained me. He, he made me love um, the sport. And eventually, I'm not here. So like, but but like this is where I started my journey. Uh, I would like to say so. Like this is like like this is the place I count more. So um, the guy that um inspired me or still inspires me right now, it's um the UFC fighter called um Israel Amadesanya. Cause like I I love um the way he fights in in kickboxing. Cause like I believe like we almost like have have like the same fighting style. So so like I'm trying to I'm following his path of like how he is. Or, or his fight career. So like, um, that's like what I'm trying to do right now. I'm following him up to, maybe it'll like end up in the UFC as well, but, but like for now, I'm just trying to do what, what he did. So, so like that's why, and like, um, and I would say also like the, 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 the other guys like that are like inspired me was my boxing friends here as well. I mean like they do inspire me cause, cause I mean like if, if they didn't, I wouldn't be boxing on the 10th of December. So, yeah, like, they're also part of my whole um, inspiration thing, yeah. Um, growing up, I really had no intentions of being a fighter, but, but then I guess, like, being bullied in, in school, like, pushed me to learn some self-defense, and that's how I, I, I had to learn how to fight and, and to defend myself. But, like, really, like, I had no intention of, of being a fighter. But, like, now it seems like I'm loving it, actually, now. So yeah. So my first fight, my first fight was like in 2017. Um, I was young, but like my guy was like much older. And yo, brah, I was like, I, I was beaten up like dead. So like the first fight was points. Points, um, it's like where you, where you just touch, touch um, each other. Just, just touch each other. And then like there's like no much power used. And then like the second one was like um, semi-contact. So in semi-contact, I fought this guy called Nana. Yeah, yeah, I still remember it because like it was my first ass whooping <laughs> yeah, that I got. But then, you know, I, I, I've learned much f um, from it though, but like um, up till now, I wouldn't want to you know, get, a, get a, a rematch against him because, because that first um, um, beating he, he, he gave me was like bad, bro. So, so like the, the first fight went bad. It wasn't in, in my favor at all. It was bad. So yeah. <coughs> Well, uh, most um, firstly, I actually like I wasn't ready to fight for the title because I was supposed to, um, to fight like like the cage fights, um, the ground game fights. Uh, I wasn't really I'm, I'm supposed to fight for the title. But then, like when I got the news um, from my coach that that I had to fight for the title, that's like when we started to, to, to train like day and night, 
we pushed and actually like they wanted me to go do some cardio by swimming but but unfortunately I can't swim so but then like we trained hard um, some hard sparring with my team and sparring partners so like we trained hard I was like prepared but like not like I'm fully prepared so that's why I'm a guess that you know I won on just like being good but like I wasn't ready like 100% ready so yeah so like that was like how we prepared I'm um, for the fight but then like if we had like more time to prepare yo but like that guy wouldn't have lasted even like one round or two rounds I guarantee you so um, the day of the fight uh, or fight night I was actually like nervous because like I know what Walter um, can do he's like a fierce fighter he likes to brawl and and his power so like I was nervous for that but so like um, but then like my coach told me that you know I don't have any reason I'm to be nervous for so like when I came into the ring I saw him and like he looked down actually like that that showed me that oh yeah he's, he's not ready for me so like um, the, the first round the moment I, I landed my first kick he um, like he moved around and that showed me that okay he can't take my kicks in power so, 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 so I knew that he's not going to last. He's not going to last. So really, I knew that he's not going to last. Uh, unfortunately, I ended up uh, I'm winning, and he had his, he, his own excuses. But, I mean, we all saw the fight, how it went. He had, he had no chance. But, 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 I mean, like, I know I'm good. And, and he knew it as well, that, that he can't match up uh, I'm with me. So, like, and, yeah. But then, like something I I, I like remember it was like the second round. He was like manaching me, I believe. He he dropped his hands and stuff like that. I was like, bruh, you don't want to do that. So like the moment he dropped his hand, I, I punched him with my right hand. That dropped him. So, so like so like from from there he came back. I'm all nervous now, standing back, keeping his distance. So yeah, I mean, so like uh, like I said, if we had more more time to prepare. Uh, he, he, he wouldn't have lasted me. <coughs> so like the moment he dropped his hand, I, I punched him with my right hand. That dropped him. So, so like, so like from, from there he came back. I'm all nervous now, standing back, keeping his distance. So yeah, I mean, so like, uh, like I said, if we had more, more time to prepare, uh, he, he, he wouldn't have lasted me. <coughs> Um, like um, how I felt um, after I won the fight, you know. I, I mean, it felt like a bad dream, but but like also I'm I'm something good as well, cause like I was happy, but like I felt like it's not real. So, but like I was like overwhelmed, like that I won the junior sub Saharan African Championship, which is actually a big thing now. Um, I was quite excited. My team was was excited. Like they threw for me a party. Like after. Um, the whole fight thingy, yeah, like we we enjoyed, man. You know, it was fun for me, and quite uh, um, an experience, you know. So yeah. So King of the Ring, um, the boxing event or the boxing night, where like we are gonna have um, a few of of my friends fighting for titles, and where I'm gonna make my first boxing um, debut. So, so 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 like I'm nervous actually, but you know, cause cause it's boxing and I can't use my kicks and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it actually, because I know for sure that I've been training with the best uh, boxers, like the likes of Tobias, he's our pro boxer, and the likes of Divas and Shocks there, um, guys that uh, punch hard, like, like literally hard. So like I know that if, if I can stand with them, come on man, like nobody can beat me. Cause like if I can stand um, ground, my ground toe to toe with them, that means like I'm ready for like whatever is about to come. So, but like, um, nonetheless, I'm looking forward to it, man, like, you know, because cause I guess I'm fighting a guy from I don't know where, but, but, but then, like, if, if, if he's not ready, bro, I mean, yeah, it's going to end, like, bad for him. But then, like, I'm hoping for a knockout because, come on, man, it's, it's my first boxing um, debut. So, you know, I, I'm trying to shine. Maybe, like, Nesta might, might, might sign me, you know, yeah, and then I, I can beat these guys as well. But, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Okay, um, my preparations, you know, um, we, we had a week of cardio and fitness and sparring. Um, I think like today now, like we, we are going to do some sparring with shocks and divas, um, um, like I said. So, so and Friday, 
um, I think like we are talking um, all the way to, to, to June 7 to improve um, our um, fitness and stamina and to get rid of the fatigue, you know, or to get uh, used to, 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 to the whole uh, fatigue thingy. So actually, like, I'm looking forward to it, man. Like, the preparations are going good. Um, it's there at night. Um, two sessions, like one in the morning and one now. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be ready. Because, like, now I don't have anything else um, to do but just, like, to prepare for, for, for this whole fight. Like, to be, like, 110% ready for, for the whole fight. So, yeah, I'm actually, like, ready for the fight now. So my plans for, um, for the next future, like, next year, it's, like, um, I, I want to have, like, um, two more, probably like one more defend of my title, and then like from there, man, I I have a plan of going professional in K1. So like you know, I'm, I wanna go chase my dream and probably like like end up somewhere with the whole arm um, kickboxing thing. So like next year, I think uh, by next year, I, I'm gonna go do my professional um, license with some of my coaches from SA. So I'm looking forward to to, to that as well. Because, you know, um, I've been fighting for, like, amateur, like, for a while now, and I'm tired of that. So I'm trying to go professional and just, like, get rid of it. Um, as for boxing, you know, I, I might think I, I'll just do um, boxing, like, five, 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 five more fights, you know, like, five, like five to six uh, um, uh, more fights. Because, like, of my role medal, he has, like, six fights, and, and I want to beat his record, you know, so... So like for, for boxing really, I don't have plans for boxing really because it's not where, where my heart is. I'm just doing it, you know, to get used to the whole nerve of, of fighting. Because like um, we don't have so much fights in, in kickboxing amateur. Hence, I want to go pro, 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 professional and join one fight league somewhere there. Um, hopefully, if all, if all um, goes well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. But it looks bright, man. Like, I mean, it looks very bright. So yeah. So, like, um, the few words I will give um, to the young fighters and the rest of, of the fighters, it's like, um, um, hard work does pay off, really. um, and like, like it, it does pay off. Um, the harder you, um, you work, like, and putting in much effort and, and late hours of, 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 of training, it does pay off, really. So, like, just keep on uh, pushing and, and training very hard because one day you are probably going to get your chance as well, but, but like, yeah, just... Just keep pushing, man. Just keep pushing, and don't be lazy because because like, um, you being lazy, um, I guarantee you, like you're just like one step further away from your dream or like from achieving uh, um great things. So just, so just keep pushing. Do not give up. Yeah. So like that's like basically what I would say to the upcoming fighters or or the young fighters. <coughs>
Okay, um, where my business started from. Um, it started off as a hobby, something I was just doing on the side due to COVID, you know, at home, not, not going to school, not attending school. So I had to start something to keep me busy. Um, I consider myself to be a jack of all trades. So I start, I try to start new things or try different ideas. And I think during COVID, what interested me most was graphic designing. So I started graphic designing, just learning. I didn't think of it as um, a business opportunity. So after a few months, I was approached by a few people who noticed that I could, uh, I had some skills. So they approached me for logos, flyers, uh, simple designs basically. Then from there, I noticed now and realized that uh, I could actually make some money out of this or have some pocket money of it. Um, not to, to just to keep myself independent from my parents, you know. And I think from there, the, the business uh, started growing and I uh, saw different ideas, which is how now the printing also started. Obviously, I had to save some money and I, it, was a, it was a long process. Um, save some money and get the machines that I have right now to start with the printing. Uh, it's still very minimal. Um, there's, there isn't much I can do with the printing. I print t shirts, as you can see, this is my brand too. Mm -hmm. I do it myself. So looking forward, um, I see myself having a bigger shop, uh, employing more people and just, you know, see where it gets. Okay, that was a mouthful. I was expecting Michael to, to take me through it very slowly. But fun fact, Michael and I actually went to school together. So, uh, so my next question is then, did you know straight from high school that art, whatever, you know, printing, that you were actually going to go into it? What was your idea? Fun fact is, as I mentioned, uh, being interested in so many stuff. Uh, in high school, I never knew what I was actually going to do. Um, at some point, I wanted to do architecture and seeing now that I'm very artistic. And so that didn't work out. So for a year, I didn't go to school. Um, I ended up studying accounting. I'm a third year student now. So um, I think in, in that tune is where the business mind also um, started. And then um, the print, all the printing and design work was never planned. I could have been an architecture student now. I could have been only doing um, accounting. I could have been doing something else. So I think I'm really just blessed and very lucky to always bring up new opportunities for myself. So yeah, at the moment, it's the printing and the graphics. It's my last year of studying. I'm hoping to see where that can lead me to. Nice. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it seems like you have it all figured out, to be honest. It doesn't even seem like, like you were ever hesitant about what you wanted to do. But the next question I want to ask is, how important do you think a, a, a side hustle is for the generation of today? Uh, you often hear uh, students or non-students, or let's just say the youth complaining about government not uh, feeding them jobs or giving them job opportunities. But I don't think it's it's fully onto the government to just dish out jobs. If you feel like you need money and there's no other way, you could always start something small. I mean, something small could be selling as at home. You never know where that could take you. So I think. Um, like I mentioned, being independent is something I, I really uh, believe in. So just get something done, get started. Anything can get you anywhere. I don't know where I will be in the next five years. But of course, I have plans, but I don't know where I'll be in the next five, plans, five years. Okay, cool. Okay, um, I have so many things that I still want to ask, but I think let's touch a little bit on uh, what were some of the biggest projects that you worked on. Don't be modest now, now it's yeah. time to brag, yes. brag on yourself. Um, yeah, so what were some of the, the highlights of, of your journey so far? Okay, um, in terms of the designs, I've worked with various companies. Sometimes you don't know if it's a big company or a small company, but I would say the biggest company that I've worked with so far is NANSO, mm -hmm. uh, the student's uh, organization. I had a contract to them for about five to six months. And then I've, I'm currently working with Vocal Cash Production. I also didn't know it's a big company until recent. And in terms of the printing, printing is quite new. It's been about five months only now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the biggest project that I, I had was to print 400 t-shirts for some of it Malaya, but it was government related. And yes. yeah, I'm still looking forward to bigger. It's not the end of my my business basically of course yeah. okay lastly um off the top of your head can you just name at least three uh, main you know what are some of the things that you're working towards three main goals very short term 
Um, as I said now, uh, there are a lot of people that are, a lot of the youth that are unemployed. So the, my first goal is to grow the business to a point of having employees. At the moment, I can't have one employee, and that's recent, it's from starting November now. So I, I see myself having more than five, ten employees. Maybe one day we'll have a head warehouse where I don't even need to be the head manager. Um, I would also like to branch out, um, seeing now that other media companies or printing companies are branched out into different towns. So I never thought of it as something that could grow that big. So uh, there are a few um, inspirations out there that really inspire me to just branch out. Um, as for the third, um, I'd say my brand, mm -hmm. uh, Surreal Art. I know not everyone um, can relate maybe to the brand or so, but I, I, I really see myself um, having a bigger brand such as Feelings Nation. Uh, maybe you guys won't know about it, but um, I think that's a brand that's really growing out there. There's Holic, there's Feelings Nation. I, would, I see myself selling more uh, of my brands daily. Uh, I think the fourth one uh, this is something I haven't spoken about yet, but I'm really trying to branch out into photography. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been interesting me for the past few months. So maybe if the business is stable, then I'll branch out into that. A jack of all trades, indeed. Yes, um, yes it was lovely having you, Michael. It's very inspirational to see some of my my schoolmates just do the most. You know, mm -hmm. we go through so much, but. Yeah, on the cup and so or lastly if there's one thing you can say to the young people out there, what would it be? Um I'll say it again and this is something I always emphasize on just start whatever idea it is, just start. It might not be capital, but there's always assistance that you can get there is family, friends. In fact you don't need much capital to start a business. Capital comes in as you go about. If you're one of the lucky ones to get good capital out there, then sure. But just start. That's my advice to everyone out there. Cool. There you have it, guys. Michael, uh, one last thing. What would you say makes you brave? Um, I think the fact that um, I like taking chances. I'm not afraid to take chances, you know. Uh, I might be afraid of what might go wrong, but I'm not afraid to take chances. And that is why um, I've had so many failures, but all those failures have made me what I am right now. And they might be, have made my business what it is right now. And that also helps my business to grow. Cool. There you have it, guys. Thank you for staying tuned to Brave Namibia uh, for another brilliant episode. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for joining us. If you know of someone you feel should feature on our show, please contact us at brave at synergy.com.na.